It's a box from the future. It looks Japanese. What's going on? Why am I on a Japanese box? I made this Mr. Sparkle box as a bag. Uh, this was a lot of fun to make and it was a, a bit of a learning experience for me. So I've never done anything like this before but I love to make things so I don't know if you want to know how I did it. I started with a cardboard box that I covered in a soft canvas and lined with a yellow felt, just using a PVA glue because it is strong and flexible. I would ideally like to have a uh, magnet closure at the top. At the moment it's just kind of open. To make up for that, I know it's not on the original Mr. Sparkle box, but I added this. Uh, you can put things in it. It's a bit like magic, so... I then made some sketches to help visualize things, measured out the front of the box, and sketched out a Mr. Sparkle logo. I made it into a transfer by roughly sketching all over the back with a 2B pencil. I then trace that on and finish adding the rest of the design. I mixed a glossy medium with a black acrylic paint for the outline. This step could have been done later, I just really wanted to define all of my lines. contrast the line work a little bit more. painted the pop out to match the Mr. Sparkle powder, added some white sparkles and finished with Joe Sonia's opal dust. 
I left the bottom to be painted last so as it could dry standing up right. And then it was time to outline the whole thing again. I was really happy with how it looked here. I wish I had kind of stopped, but I decided to add some text and quotes from the episode. and soap and wrote awesome power on the little pop out. And then I have the one, two, three step thing that you do see on the back of the box. And it has, I'm disrespectful to do it, best lucky wash and sparkle power again. Finally, to really make this a bag, I used some keychain loops, which I knew would work really well with these bag straps that I had. I glued those and attached them to the sides of the box using a ribbon that matched the felt and glued and sewed those in place. So I was very fortunate kind of have the perfect matching strap to go with it and then at that point it's basically done so then I made these guys so these guys are pretty fun we have what is it again I made these two little guys, which are how we get Mr. Sparkle. I thought that would be a fun thing. I just put more of the fabric that I used to cover the entire thing and did some more sparkle action on it. It's the same way I treated the inside of this little thingy. So I don't have any footage of how I actually made these, but I used a polymer clay, baked them, painted them with acrylic paint, and glued in some pins, used a broken necklace for the chain, and added another... What are they called? I just said it. What are they called? Keychain! And I added another keychain. This isn't the most sturdy and durable bag that I own, but... Uh, it is pretty good. It's waterproof because it's acrylic paint and the, ma uh, the medium kind of helps it become even more waterproof. Uh, if you were wanting a more stable version of this, I would suggest using plastic as your base instead of a cardboard box, but I just had it lying around so that's what I used. Maybe in the future I will make a plastic one that will last me forever. Yeah. Overall, this has just been a bit of a dream that I wanted to do for a really long time. And I'm happy that I got to do it. Thanks. Thanks for looking. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learnt something. I hope that you have 
Uh, what? I hope that this was. I just hope 